You need to trust yourself more. Trust yourself to take the leap. Trust yourself to walk into the dark. Trust yourself to go off the beaten path. Trust yourself to make that crazy decision that you have been thinking about for years because no one else is going to do it for you. And if you don't find it in yourself to trust that part of you, to trust your intuition, your soul, then you're always going to live a life that's not yours. You're always going to live a life wondering. You're always going to live a life that has this underlying feeling of unfulfillment because if you're ever, if you're not living in alignment with what your soul wants, it's never going to be fulfilling. If it looks good on paper, but it's not what your heart is saying yes to, then it's just, there's always going to be that longing. And there's, of course, there's positive and benefit in everything that we do, everything that we experience. I stayed in a relationship for way too long, but I knew deep down, my heart was saying no. My heart was saying, this isn't it. Uh, when I would think about having, you know, kids with that person or getting married to that person, my body would scream no. <laughs> but because we looked good on paper, we, you know, we had the house, we had the, the friends, we had the, we had the stuff. We were good at being partners in, in the pandemic. We were good at being partners in chronic illness. Like we were good at that stuff, but my heart was still saying no. And so that's just an example. We'll know that with jobs. We'll know that with living situations. We'll know that with lifestyle, with friends. And so often we just deny ourselves even looking at it because we're like, it'll be too hard. You know, I don't wanna let people down. I don't wanna um, take a risk because it's so unknown. And what if the bad thing happens? But what if the great thing happens? What if you find the trust in yourself, which when we go deeper into that, what is yourself? Yourself is part of this one infinite consciousness, the source energy, the universe, God, whatever you wanna call it. When you can trust that part of you, the divine, and move towards that, whatever it is. And how do you move towards that? You follow the joy, you follow the curiosity. And when you move towards that, then everything else will change, obviously, but it will fall into place. And so if you've been watching my story, uh, my daily videos, <laughs> things are falling into place, but that's happening by things falling out of place. You know, I'm traveling Europe in my van, uh, with my dog and my van broke down again and it's in Vienna now and I thought I would be traveling Austria today on my way to Switzerland because I thought the van would be done yesterday or the day before and now I'm in Italy on this horse farm that I love so much where I have my European family not blood family that I just found a month and a half ago two months ago but these people who I love and adore and the universe brought me back here to them and so that's all, you know, the things fell apart, the brand, van fell apart in order for me to have this experience and to be where my soul wants to be. And truly like being here, I'm so happy. We went on a horse ride yesterday. We've just been all hanging out, laughing, having a good time. And this is exactly what my soul wants to be doing. And by letting go and trusting the process, trusting myself, trusting the one infinite consciousness, the oneness of us all, I'm allowing myself to be guided to what all this is for me, what the best is for me. And trusting the process when shit hits the fan, <laughs> when things fall apart, when I don't see the clear answer. That's, I think, the big part too that wants to come through right now is like you're not going to see the path <laughs> because it's never been walked before. Your path has never, ever, ever, ever been walked before. You're a pioneer of your own life when you're in alignment with what your soul came here to do. We all have a soul's mission and purpose, and it's gonna look different. Some people come here to speak about certain topics. Some people come here to invent something, to be innovative, to, you know, to bring people together. Some people come here to be a mom, a dad. Some people come here to bring, you know, art into the world, to bake, to just whatever it is. If you're living in your true essence, you never know when there's an animal coming <laughs> on this farm. Um, 
when you're living in your true essence and in alignment with your soul, you are making the world a better place. You are raising the consciousness, helping us shift into this 5D energy, shifting the planet, right? We're shifting as a consciousness. People are waking up to the fact that they have a, a reason for being here, that they don't just have to stay on this hamster wheel and stay super controlled and stay out of alignment with their highest potential. That's what I really want to always really have like as a backbone of what I share on here is like, I want you to live in alignment with your highest potential because you can have every single thing that you want. That's what I say to my clients all the time, to my friends all the time, to my family all the time. They'll be like, I really want this, but I can't have it all. You know, that, that, ugh, that programming, but I can't have it all. You can have it all. You can have it all and you can have it delivered. <laughs> okay. It's what you put out. It's how you use your free will. It's what you believe is possible. I have someone in my life who keeps attracting partners who just don't appreciate them at all and are mean to them. But he doesn't believe that he can have a, a, a pretty girl who's smart, who, you know, uh, is a business owner, who's athletic, who is funny, who likes to adventure, who's outdoorsy, who's uh, healthy, who's, I don't know, all these things. He doesn't believe he can have all that in one. And, uh, and we'll say that, like they don't exist. If they do, they're in a relationship. That's a limiting belief. That is not trusting that, you know, you have the potential to have everything that you want, that you have the potential to live in alignment with what your soul wants. If your soul wants this and this and this and this in a partner and a job and a living situation and a friendship and a life, you can have all of it. You don't have to settle. That's something else too. Let's really bring that in, <laughs> bring it home. You do not have to settle. Where are you settling right now? I'm also asking myself that right now. <laughs> I don't know where I'm settling. A year ago, I was settling in my job. I was settling in some friendships. I was settling in, in life. Like I wasn't, I wasn't doing what my soul wanted to be doing. My soul wants to be doing this crazy lifestyle of like, you know, waking up in a new country every day, <laughs> not every day, but you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, my soul wants to be doing this, figuring things out, learning about the van, making friends along the way, asking for help, receiving help, fit, like building this, this YouTube channel and sharing these messages. Like, this is what my soul wants to be doing. And I just went balls to the wall this year. That was my agreement with myself. I was like, okay, one year, just go balls to the wall, say no to anything you don't want to do. And yes, to everything you do want to do. Close the door even if you don't know, and this is not, I'm not telling you to do this because if there's limiting beliefs, if there's attachment, if there's other things like still lingering, it's not always good to just like close the door and just hope for the best because you really have to work through those other layers of everything. And that's why in my 21 day program to rewire your mind, we do a lot of EFT tapping. We work with the subconscious. And so if you want to go into that program, you can, you can sign up in the link below for Calendly. Uh, you sign up any day, anytime, send me your email and I'll send you the playlist with all of the videos for that program. And so I love the tools that I have and I work through all the limiting beliefs and the attachment and the unconscious. That's a big part of it too. And a big part of the program is where is the unconscious? The unconscious is lack, unworthiness, uh, fear, all these things that would hold us back from knowing that we can have absolutely anything that we want with our free will. And so for the past year, I've been committed to that. Closing the door when it's not in alignment with what I know to be true about myself infinite abundance, unconditional love, infinite possibilities. Within the quantum field, there's infinite possibilities, infinite timelines. Every single thing is happening right now. And you get to select it as if you're ordering from a restaurant. I select this timeline. That's where I'm headed. And so in the program, we talk all about chosen timelines and you make your own, you move towards it. And you, you also add if it's for my highest good, if it's in alignment with my soul, if not, I accept whatever is in alignment with my, my highest good, with my soul and what my soul wants for me. So, whew, that's a lot and it's getting really warm right now. So I really just want to leave you with this is just trust yourself. Right now, I think more than ever, it's the best time to trust yourself, to go towards the things that you really want. I'm not going to say, I mean, yeah, in a way, don't waste your life, 
you're never wasting your life. Wherever you are right now is for you. It's for you to learn the lessons that are meant for you. Your greatest teacher, your guru is your perceived reality. What's in front of you is all the lessons that you need. When you learn them, your reality shifts. So look what's in front of you. What do you want? What do you not want? What do you like? What do you not like? Where are you holding back? Where are you settling? And just bring it all into awareness and choose to let go, to remember, to follow the joy, to follow the curiosity, and boom, we're gonna create that dream life, baby. I'm gonna go put some shoes on, head down to the farm, say hi to the horses, hug some donkeys, have Arlo go run around with his little friend. I, uh, not little, he's pretty big. All of his friends too, there's like, I don't know, 50 dogs here, uh, plus, 50 plus dogs here. And I was going to record him saying, I did record him saying hello to his friend yesterday, but I mean, he was crying all morning to go down and say hi, because he's so excited that we got here. He's like, I need to go see him. I need to go see him. And then as soon as we got down there, it was like no time had passed. They were just like, stop, like, let's go play. <laughs> so this is home to Arlo and, and to me too. So when we were sitting around the table last night, I'm doing the graphic designing for, um, for this farm and for all the businesses uh, within the farm. And we're just kind of brainstorming ideas around the table. And uh, we're also talking about the van stuff and how I got here and how, you know, it's just kind of random and amazing and how they came to save me. One of them came to save me in Austria, which was so sweet. And uh, the owner was just like, you're so happy to be home, aren't you? And I was like, home. <laughs> To have a home other than the van other than california but after seven months of being here to feel like you know i have somewhere where i belong is amazing and this whole experience has been amazing but i really really love this chapter and i know that there's lessons to come there's there's more to learn but there's also going to be more and more to enjoy and to move through and that's life it's not we're not just shooting for rainbows and butterflies we're shooting for living experiencing, belonging, being in a timeline that is really fulfilling and nourishing to you, to your soul, specifically to you. It won't be the same for other people. I'm sure most of you don't want to be stranded on the side of the road for three days in a broken down van. However, I wouldn't change a thing because now I'm here. So I'm going to leave you with that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here. Leave a comment if you feel called to do so. Say, hello, Arlo, we miss you. And if you do, I'll try to bring him into the video tomorrow. It's just kind of hard to bring him up here. Uh, dogs don't normally come up here. And also, if you would like to sign up for my other new program that's going to launch on June 9th, we're going to go all into following your heart, oh, listening to your heart, communicating with your heart, how to communicate with your heart, how to communicate with your divine team, your angels and guides, get that open, clear communication to know what your soul wants, then that program is for you. It's all the tools that I used to get really clear on like, okay, it's time to make a change. It's time to quit the job. It's time to move to Europe. It's time to buy the van. It's time to do all these things, sell all my things. Like this all came from these practices of following my heart and getting really in that space of having that. It's like a language. So we're going to do that in those 21 days. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is below as well. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.